good, Penny. You're here to exchange gifts. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Penny and Sheldon moments on the Big Bang Theory. So, if what you need is to spend your birthday in a bathroom, I'm happy to do it with you. Sweetie, I'm comfortable around you, too. Of course you are. I'm warm and soothing. Soft kitty is for when you're sick. You're not sick. Injured and drugged is a kind of sick. For this list, we'll be looking at those amazing, funny, touching, and or memorable moments that marked the path along the way to Penny and Sheldon's true and deep friendship. Stare into our eyes for five minutes and then leave a comment below. Number 10, the first soft kitty. Soft kitty, warm kitty. Little ball of fur. The Soft Kitty song would become something very special between Penny and Sheldon. And in the season one episode, The Pancake Batter Anomaly, we get to hear it for the very first time. My mom used to sing it to me when I was sick. I'm sorry, honey, I don't know it. I'll teach you. This was still very early on in their relationship, and Sheldon was being the selfish jerk he always is when he's sick. And yet, Penny still took care of him. My mom used to give me sponge baths. <laughs> Okay, ground rules. No sponge baths and definitely no enemas. Singing Soft Kitty and rubbing vapor rub counterclockwise on someone's chest can be quite the bonding moment between two people, as it was in this case for Sheldon and Penny. Keep rubbing. <laughs> Little ball of fur. Number nine, picking out a suit. In season one, Penny helped Leonard pick out a suit to wear for a conference. And in season three, she took Sheldon shopping for a suit to wear to his award ceremony. It'll give you confidence. You know, sometimes when I'm feeling all stressed out about something, I go out and buy a cute top or a fun skirt and I have a whole new outlook on life. The montage that follows is a wonderful Sheldon and Penny moment as his choices get more and more ridiculous until he finally tries on the simple black suit that she suggested. Okay, then anything I put on now is only gonna suffer in comparison. <laughs> Her amazed and slightly breathless reaction when Shelly walks out of the changing room, looking all dapper, is almost as good as his reaction to Amy's wedding dress many years later. Wow! <laughs> you look beautiful! Although, can we all agree that she was wrong about the checkered suit he tried on? That one looked great also, right? Number eight, the love test. It could be argued that the evolution of Sheldon and Penny's relationship and their understanding and appreciation of each other over the course of the series is the most important relationship on the show. Well, I suppose I do think of you as a sister. And sometimes a mother. <laughs> getting creepy again. There are some key moments that are signposts of that growth and evolution, with the love test being one of them. Wow, I just felt this wave of affection for you. <laughs> I'm sure it's not too much Bible juice. <laughs> And the wave is gone. And while they didn't fall in love after doing the test, they did fall deeper in like. But did they end up going to GaryCon together? That's what we want to know. Do we fly or drive? <laughs> Do we wear costumes? And if so, who gets to be Gary? Number seven, the scavenger hunt. Would you stop pouting? So you picked my name, get over it. If you were looking for the seventh best Penny and Sheldon moment, all the clues and a riddle would point to Team Community College Night School from the Scavenger Vortex episode in season seven. I solved it. Penny's street smarts combined with Sheldon's book smarts and his bowling ball made the Lightning Sharks an almost unbeatable team. We say almost because Raj made sure there were no losers. Don't you see? When we're all having fun together, we're already winners. Which leads us to maybe the most important question of the entire episode. How did he get the gold coins in everyone's pockets without them knowing? Number six, birthday bathroom. When Sheldon gets overwhelmed at his party and runs to the bathroom to escape, it's Penny who goes to talk to him. How do you know I'm not using the facilities? Because you email me your bathroom schedule once a week, even though I've clicked unsubscribe like a thousand times. And while in that moment, it makes perfect sense for her to be that person, she acknowledges how she used to be the person that would have been making fun of Sheldon rather than comforting him. There was a time I never would have been friends with someone like you, and now you are one of my favorite people. So 
Sheldon loves Amy and Leonard is his best friend, but the birthday bathroom scene is a nice example of the special relationship he has with Penny and how it and they changed over the years. You know, I used to hate these hugs. Now they're just extremely irritating. Number five, Penny Blossoms. In an attempt to earn extra money, Penny starts a business making flower hair barrettes she calls Penny Blossoms. I made one for myself and then all the girls at work wanted one. Then I showed some to this lady who runs a shop in Old Town. She sells cards and homemade jewelry. She said she wanted to sell them. I said, okay. And in one week, I made $156. When she shows Sheldon what she's doing, he does some quick math and points out that her hard work is only going to make her $2,600 a year. That's all? Before taxes. Well, I don't have to pay taxes on this stuff. I believe the Internal Revenue Service would strongly disagree. Disappointed by that figure, Penny asks Sheldon for help, which he does by creating an assembly line process and teaching her some production improving sea shanties. Jimmy Way, hey, blow the man down, or I'll help you along with the toe of my boot. Give, Give me some time to blow the man down. For her part, Penny introduces Sheldon to caffeine, and although she does get some orders and makes some money that first day, we never hear about the Penny Blossoms again. Number four, emergency room. When Penny falls in the bathtub, Sheldon takes on the role of the hero and drives her to the emergency room. Warp speed ahead, Mr. Spock. <laughs> Mr. Spock did not pilot the Enterprise. He was a science officer. And I guarantee you that if he ever saw the Enterprise's check engine light blinking, he would pull the ship over immediately. While the drive there is in itself a great moment between these two, the scene in the emergency room with them filling out the paperwork is truly a top Penny and Sheldon interaction. List all major behavioral diagnoses, e.g. depression, anxiety, etc. Oh my god, what the hell does this have to do with my stupid shoulder? Episodes of subpsychotic rage. Especially when she begs him to be sympathetic, but his efforts just come across as more creepy than comforting. Then we get back to the apartment, and in a truly great turnabout is fair play moment, Penny asks Sheldon to sing her Soft Kitty. Soft Kitty, warm kitty, soft kitty, warm kitty, little happy ball kitty, of fur. sleeping kitty, happy purr, kitty, sleepy kitty. <laughs> Number three, the flash drive. When the guys head to San Francisco on a train and Sheldon forgets a flash drive with his paper on it at home, Penny is his only hope of retrieving that paper. Why do you have to give your paper to George Smoot? It's brilliant. He needs to read it. So Sheldon calls Penny, asks her very nicely to do him a favor, and Penny gets him the paper he needed. Bazinga! You fell for another one of our classic pranks. In actuality, Sheldon doesn't ask nicely. Penny messes with him a little and Leonard has to grab the phone and do a little mediating between them. What up, Moon Pie? <laughs> no one calls me Moon Pie but me, Ma. <laughs> Hey, Penny, Leonard again. But we weren't joking when we said Penny got Sheldon that all-important paper. Now please, put the flash drive in the USB port. The one that looks like a little duck's mouth. <laughs> Number two, solving string theory. Sometimes it just takes a new set of eyes to solve a problem. People have been stuck on this for decades. What, decades? Really? It's it's a string. How hard can it be? <laughs> it's, it's straight, it's in a loop, it gets knotted up with other strings. And in this case, those eyes belonged to Penny, and that problem was string theory. While she usually tunes out when any of the guys are talking science, this night she actually remains focused and awake as Sheldon explains string theory to her. And with one simple word, Not. she opens Sheldon's eyes to amazing possibilities that he hadn't ever considered. You know, topologically speaking, that has a lot of interesting possibilities. And the best part of it all is when she tells Leonard and Amy about it. Turns out the answer's knots. That's cute, but you can't have knots in more than four dimensions. Mm, you can if you consider them sheets, good night. The stunned look on their faces is priceless. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Riding the elevator together. The more things change, the more they stay the same. Now, the elevator did work when I moved into the building, so going up and down the stairs was a change. Which means this would actually be a return to the status quo. But conversely, Get I in. think- Penny quits her job. Sheldon can be understanding and supportive even without lemonade. Why can't Leonard understand it? Because he's not like us, Penny. We're dreamers. 
a streetcar named Desire. Sheldon doesn't need his electronics to enjoy Penny's performance. She's remarkable. She really is. Our Penny's a star. How can she remember all those lines? But as a waitress, she can't remember no tomato on my hamburger. <laughs> when Leonard is at sea, Sheldon and Penny have a moment of revelations and another hug. How about a hearty handshake? Come on. <laughs> Now I know how you felt getting mauled by that sex-crazed gorilla. The chair. No snickerdoodles and a dirty chair. A lose-lose for Sheldon. What is wrong? I've been sitting in garbage. Sheldon, take it easy. You take it easy. I need to use your shower. I went into this marriage with so much hope. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. The Nimoy Napkin Hug You'll be pleased to know I'm prepared for whatever you have to offer. There's a reason why this moment gets mentioned so often in almost any discussion of the Big Bang Theory moments. It's because it really is that great. The fact that Penny thought of getting Sheldon this gift is super sweet, but we can probably all admit that we're more impressed by the fact that she recognized Leonard Nimoy and knew who he was in the first place. Sorry, the napkin's dirty. He wiped his mouth with it. <laughs> I possess the DNA of Leonard Nimoy? Then there's Sheldon's overwhelmed reaction, which is not only amazing, but it also brings us to the hug. It's a display of affection that, even in season two, we could all recognize for just how special it was. Leonard, look, Sheldon's hugging me. <laughs> it's a Saturnalia miracle. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.